Nigerians lament because of excessive hold up in Nigeria. How can you buy a fuel of 100,000 naira just to transport yourself from your location, from your present location to another place? And God struck on traffic for about four good hours as a result of bad road. <laughs> Now, what my people, when I saw the people were like, we should stop um, giving attention to Bonaboy and Abbey issue and uh, let us talk about um, this problem we are facing in Nigeria now together. Not that many people have not come online to shout does not mean that they are not passing through this. I remember the time I was struck in Lagos, Badagri, Express Road traffic or more. It was a hell. Not just that alone. Staying on traffic, this is container. All these big, um, 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 motor that carry container, you know. This one is uh, another, all this big truck, another big truck that was carrying a uh, fuel in the same road. That is why it says that whenever there is a fire outbreak in any of all these, um, um, container that carries, um, what do they call it? Carries fuel. That there is a lot of casualties in Nigeria. You will see many victims. So now in this case, how do we make our country a better country? We all know that Nigeria is very populated. Nigeria is too big for a single person to even control. But now we have many politicians and they are not helping the matter. And things are not even getting all right. Even though that um, there is division of labor in politics, yet people are still suffering in Nigeria. How are we going to make this country a better country? Imagine Minister of Transportation, what are you doing? The bad roads in different places, not only in Abuja, that there is bad road. No. No one should come and say, you, I am come and we can, come and do this, look at Abuja. It's not only in Abuja that there is a bad road. There is bad road almost everywhere in Nigeria. You're not even talking about East. Go to Eastern part of Nigeria. The East is also like that. It's also worst. Go to Lagos. Lagos, but that spread road is also worst. It's not even better. If you're trying to cross border from Lagos State, going to Benin Republic, or more, you will see that Nigeria is a worst country. No good road in Nigeria. If you are going to Abuja using local Jaya Express Road, you will see that Nigeria, there is no good road in Nigeria. People, the masses are suffering because the politicians are because the politicians are traveling using their private jet, using an aeroplane, helicopter, and other means without even using the road. Do you know how the masses are suffering in Nigeria? So how can we how are we going to make this country a better country? We have protests, yes, it's, it's not working. Tell us in the comment section your opinion. How else do you want Nigeria to be a better country? What means are we going to make livelihood better in Nigeria? Because the people are suffering. The poor masses that doesn't even, the masses are suffering people that doesn't have private jets. Even if you have a car, there's the type of car you buy in Nigeria, you cannot even use it to transport yourself to another location. Because if you're wondering, how will this car return back safely? Because of bad roads. Because of bad roads. Are we talking about let light? There is no constant electricity light in Nigeria. No constant electricity light. Go to other countries of Africa. Other African countries they have constant light, good water, good road, good um, road network. Connection is there, but in Nigeria, no, it is something else. Even after pay, you will not see what you are paying for. What is happening? How can we make Nigeria a better country? Our president, Bola Ahmed, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, do something. Not just do something alone. If liquidation task to other 
um, politicians for them to carry out some certain activities and not doing it. You as the president can do it by yourself. Yes? Because enough of all this time wasting, all, all this, uh, uh, we have given money for this project to be carried out and yet we are not seeing results of the money being spent on. We keep on hearing borrowed money, borrowed money, borrowed money. What are those borrowed money meant for? What are they used for? Do they use it to enrich yourself? Do they use it to pay politician salaries? We don't know. Whereas there is no good amenities out there in Nigeria. People are losing their jobs as a result of cost of transportation. I saw someone else there saying that I just quit from my job because I'm more, how can I be paying 70,000 naira for transport when my job is not even paying, is not even up to 100,000 naira? Do you see the pain that people are passing through? And when someone drops out of job, do you know what follows it? Excessive thinking. They start thinking of something negative. Yes. Kai, Nigeria. Nigeria. How can we make Nigeria a better country? Is it in this manner? People are suffering. The masses are suffering. People are no longer affording three square meals per day. Look at Naira. Common Sifa is now higher than Naira. 10,000 Naira is now 3,000 Sifa. Whereas before 10,000 Naira, we give you about, we give you about 30,000 Sifa. As of three, four years ago. But now, look at. Do you people, you people are wondering why dollar is higher? Is it keep increasing against Naira? Naira keep uh, depreciating. Do you understand? Do you know that if you put your money in any of your Nigerian accounts, you can no longer transfer your money from any of your Nigerian accounts to any Western, even safe in African country, you cannot. From bank to bank. But during Jonathan's regime, all these things were in existence, making Naira equal with other countries' currency. But now, Buhari came into, into office. Buhari blocked even Western Union. Like you cannot send money out from Nigeria. So why would Nigeria, why would Naira be devalued? Why would Naira be focused up as it is now? When some certain things that hurt people's life, you could just come and cut it, thinking that it's only one part of Nigeria that are traveling out of Nigeria. Yorubas are also out of Nigeria. Some part of our are also out of Nigeria. Not only Igbo that travel out of Nigeria. So why would um, um, Buhari come into office thinking that it's only Igbo that are out of Nigeria? Then you obstruct the means of, of sending money, exchanging money from Nigeria to another country. You can put your money in your Naira account, but you cannot take it out from your Naira account uh, to another account based on any country you find yourself. What is it? But in that country you find yourself, you can easily send that money and still withdraw your money from any country you find yourself, provided you have accounts in that place. Why am I country people? Why would Naira be in this way? If it happened that if you put your Naira, like now, for instance, you are in America, you put your account, you put money in your Naira account, probably, okay, let's say in your dollar Naira account in Nigeria, then you... Maybe you lack money presently in America. You tell us, to say, okay, let me, since I have service, let me just take a few money from my Naira account. Then, you know, just transfer from that account to another account. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work in Nigeria now anymore. Buhari stop this. Now, instead of being able to come and check some certain things that has been limiting Nigerians from in terms of, in terms of transaction, check some certain things that are making Naira to fluctuate. The fluctuation in Naira value is too much. No. You think it's all about borrowing? It's not all about borrowing. It's not all about, you know, uh, um, look at the cost of goods and services. Inflation here and there is keeping inflation, persistent rise in, in cost of goods and services. It's not about inflation. It's getting high every day. As they go by, it's getting high. There are some factors that triggers all this. If those tra factors are not sorted out or are not solved or are not limited, this will keep getting worse and worse as they go by. Naira is now nothing. 200,000 naira will just give you about 60 something thousand sifa. Whereas before, if you call 200,000 naira, it will be giving you like 600,000 sifa. But now look at it. It is something else. Anyway, my country people, we pray for a better nation. We pray for a better country. May God help us all in Nigeria. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification button so you get notified of all latest Nigerian news. Christy TV got you covered. I love you guys.